Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be going over the steps to swap out your factory spoiler on your S550 Mustang to this beautiful aftermarket spoiler. And this spoiler is the Speedform GT350. It is a beautiful spoiler and it was an awesome addition to the black accent on this Mustang. So if you order one of these, we're going to go over the steps of how to swap it out and you're going to love it. It's going to add an extra addition to your car. And the tools we'll be using is the nylon car panel removal set, some painter's tape, milkshake straws, and I'll get in that in a little bit in the video, scissors, we're going to use Allen keys, and this is going to be four small ones. We're going to use a small Phillips screwdriver, 10 millimeter socket, Phillips screwdriver, microfiber cloth, alcohol, a drill, and this is the most important part, eraser wheel. This is going to be very handy. You're going to love it. Now we can jump right into the fun part. All right, step one, we're going to remove the deck lid latch cover. Take one of your nylon pry bars. We're going to get up right up under that latch cover. Give it a little tug, and it should pop right out just that easy. Next, we're going to remove the trunk release handle. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Make sure I get a good view. And this doesn't require any tools for this step. So we're going to pull it right off. See if I can actually get it right. There we go. And then there's actually a little latch in the middle and it's spring, it's kind of spring loaded. So all you have to do is push on it just a little bit and then we want to get this cable out. So push in and the cable should lift right out just like that. And for step three, we're going to remove the trunk lid bumpers, two bumpers, and all they do is unscrew just like you to take out a bolt. So go counterclockwise. They're going to be a little tough at first. So just put a little oomph into it. And then we're going to do both sides until it comes all the way out and just that easy. The next step requires taking out retaining pins. There's nine of them. One, two, three, four, five. And then go to the other side real quick. Six, seven, eight, and one more at top, nine. And here's how we're going to remove the pins. We're going to take one of these plastic pry bars from one of your kits, get right under the pins, and it should pry right out. This one's a little tough, but give it a little oomph and pops right out. And we're going to do all nine of them. So that's two. And three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. And as we remove the ninth pin, the trim panel should start falling off. So just go ahead and put that down right in the trunk like so. And for step six, we're going to remove the two rubber plugs on the ends. These are covering the nuts for the spoiler. So there's one. And these pop right. All you got to do is pull on them a little bit. And let's see, come over number two right here. And see if I can get my finger on it. And two. Just that easy. And I'm going to zoom in so you can see what we're looking at. So there's a nut right there holding the spoiler on. There's two in the middle, as you can see right here. So we have one on the right, one on the left. And then we have all the way one on the left right here. And that's going to be the last one we remove. So let's grab our 10 millimeter socket wrench and go ahead and take off those four nuts. All you have to do is go in and be very gentle. Go ahead and loosen it counterclockwise like you would at any nut. And we're going to go fast forward mode. See if we can knock that out. Be very gentle. This is where you want to bring the trunk down so the nut doesn't fall in the trunk. You want to use gravity to your advantage like we're doing right here. And should be pretty loose. And ta-da. And of course, we're going to repeat these steps for the rest of the three nuts. Alright, now that we removed all four nuts, let's go ahead and close the trunk because this is what we're going to need to do for the next step. So, let's grab our painter's tape and let's tape around the spoiler. The whole idea is we want to protect the paint and clear coat as much as we can. We're going to be a little aggressive in this stage, so let's do what we can to protect the surrounding clear coats. So, for this step, we're going to fast forward a little bit, but I want to go ahead and tape around the whole spoiler just in case. Better be safe than sorry on your beautiful Mustang. All right, now we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to peel off the spoiler from the trunk. Now that's on there really good because it has 3M double-sided tape attaching the spoiler to the trunk. So you go ahead and take one of your flat pry pieces 
and kind of get in there and stab the uh, double-sided tape. You're kind of trying to break it apart. So that's what we're doing here. We're trying to provide a gap between the trunk and the spoiler. And as you can see, I'm prying it off little by little. And I'm being a little aggressive with this just so I can uh, break the double-sided tape. And I'm doing it one inch at a time. For this step, do not rush it. Go as slow as you need to, just so you don't damage your vehicle. One eternity later. And with just enough finesse, and it popped right off. Beautiful. That's what we expect to see. So if we take a look at the trunk, you're still going to see double-sided tape left on the trunk. That is expected. Do not worry. We have an easy way to take this off, and it's on there really good. You can do it by hand, but it's going to take you a long time. We have an easier and faster way that's going to do this. So let's grab our drill with our eraser wheel, and we're going to use this to remove the double-sided tape that's left on the car. And as you can see here, all I'm doing is taking this eraser wheel, and we're going to long all the double-sided tape. This eraser wheel is awesome, and that's what it's made for. If you have any leftover decals on your vehicle or anything sticky, this is the way to remove it without damaging your clear coat. And we're going to go over every single piece on this trunk until it looks immaculate. So this part may take a minute, though. So far that looks pretty good. So let's grab our alcohol, microfiber cloth, let's go and wet it, and let's go ahead and clean off the trunk. Our whole idea here is we want to remove any dust or any residue left from the double-sided tape. So we're just cleaning up the trunk and making it perfect. At this point, if you see any tape left over, just go back with your racer wheel and go ahead and wipe it off with alcohol when you're done. And that is beautiful and smooth, perfect. All right, we're approaching the halfway point. Let's go ahead and remove this tape. So at this point, it should just peel right off. Not really a big step, but I figured I'd show it to you on camera anyway, just because it looks beautiful once you do it. And it peels right off. All right, so you're prior wondering at the beginning of the video, why did we have milkshake straws? Well, I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one. Let me grab an orange one since the car is orange. Perfect. Then let's go ahead and grab our Phillips screwdriver. Put the straw on your Phillips screwdriver and let's go ahead and face the camera towards the sun. That way we can see through the straw. And we're gonna have to cut about a quarter inch in front of the Phillips screwdriver, like so. That looks perfect. And bring the camera back down. And I'll show you why we're doing this. All right, let me grab one of these screws real quick. And then we're going to place it right on the screwdriver and use the straw to capture the screw. This straw is going to retain the screw while you're inserting it into the spoiler. 
This will keep the screw from dropping in the trunk. Trust me, this will save you a big headache later. All right, so let's grab our new spoiler and we're gonna pre-install the spoiler on the Mustang. We're not taking off the liner for the double-sided tape yet. We're gonna show you why in a minute. So grab the spoiler, put it on the trunk, lift the trunk very gently. Perfect. I'm gonna zoom in real quick, that way you can see what I'm doing and take that screwdriver with the straw and go ahead and insert the two screws on each end. So you can see I'm doing that right here. Straw held it in perfectly. And we're gonna repeat the same step on both sides. And see if I can finish that real quick. Perfect. All right, you're gonna love this step. Go ahead and grab four small Allen keys. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna use them for. So I have one right here and some painter's tape. Go ahead and put your Allen wrench key or your Allen key inside one of the screw holes for the spoiler. We're doing the middle ones first. Grab your tape, and we're gonna tape that Allen key inside the hole, just like so. And you can never use too much tape, so go ahead and grab another one and make sure it's on there very firmly. I'm gonna show you why in a second. And of course, we're gonna repeat this step for the other center hole as well. All right, so grab your Phillips screwdriver and your straw, and now we're gonna take out those same screws you inserted earlier. So we're gonna do one at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and back this one screw out, use the straw to capture the screw, and it comes out beautifully. You don't have to worry about that dropping in the trunk. All right, and take that Allen key again. This time we're going to take the long side, and we're going to do the same steps as we did in the middle. We're going to take that one Allen key and tape it to the trunk. So one hand's holding the spoiler, one is taping the Allen key. Perfect. And we'll probably add another bit of tape on there. Beautiful. And we repeated this step on the other side as well. And we're going to close the trunk very gently. And as you can see, the spoiler should lift right up. Perfect. That's what we're looking for. So let's take a look at our job. So we have four Allen keys sticking out of the trunk. That's exactly what we want. These Allen keys are going to act as guides when you install the new spoiler. So let's go ahead and remove the adhesive liner. This might help if you have a second person. So this might take a second because I have no nails whatsoever. All right, and for this step, we're gonna go very slow. You're gonna install the spoiler using those guides, and it should help you guide them right down. Perfect. And once it's down, go ahead and press down. That way the double sticky tape adheres to the trunk. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove those four Allen keys. So very slowly, very gently, go ahead and pull out each Allen key, just like so. And let's zoom in a little bit. And you can see that hole lines up perfect. That's exactly what we want. And we're gonna go ahead and remove all the other ones. Go in fast forward motion. All right, last inning stretch, we're getting there. We're going to take those same screws, add the washer, go ahead and place it inside your Phillips screwdriver with your milkshake straw. And we're going to go ahead and tighten them down for good. So we're going to start on the left side just because it was convenient for me. And go gently and perfect. And we're gonna do the other outside as well. I did the outsides ones first just to, so I don't have to use the straw anymore and just because it's convenient. Once you have the two outside screws installed, we went ahead and went to the middle and installed the middle screws. Now I did not use the screwdriver and the straw. I just went ahead and started it by hand. So the whole idea is you wanna get a few threads engaged by hand. So I already had one side engaged. Now I went to the other middle side, which is in this case the driver side and Takes a second with my big hands. And once the screws are finger tight, we went ahead and started screwing down all four screws. Now for the ones in the middle, go ahead and grab a short socket Phillips or a small Phillips screwdriver and tighten these down by hand. You can't do this with a long Phillips. You have to do a shorty. All right, let's grab our trim panel. And this goes on just as easy as it came off. And make sure you have the latch release cable going through the right hole. So let's get that through there. Perfect. And this is where you're gonna have to hold it up while inserting these retaining pins. Again, nine of them. And all you have to do is push these in just like so. So that's two. Let's see if we can get three, four, and we'll do the top one right there. Five. And let me walk around to the other side. Six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, let's install our trunk lid bumpers. Now these screw in just like a bolt would, just like we took them out, we went counterclockwise. This one we're going to clockwise. This is a little tight, so just give it a little oomph. And beautiful. 
One of the hardest steps, installing the deck lid latch cover. Pops right in. Beautiful. All right, let's install the trunk release handle. Take your handle, and this cable should press right in the same area as you undid earlier. So you don't have to even press down that hard. Put your fingernail in there, and it should slide right in and click. And give it a little finesse. Perfect. And then go ahead and insert it in your panel. And like a glove, beautiful. All right, final step. We get to install the rubber plugs. No tools required, just give it a little push. So it might fight you just a little bit, but just give it a little finesse. So there's one. Let's go to our passenger side and work it just a little bit. Come on, play nice and beautiful. And that turned out beautiful. That is awesome. Well, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.